Welcome back. Listen up. It's the big day. Rumble in the jungle. The only tournament that matters. It's our March Plant Madness Tournament Championship match. It's been a long ride and we dropped a few good plants on the way. RIP. But we all knew this day was coming. The only question is which plant will reign supreme, lavender or heliotrope? Let's get it on, all sponsored by our friends at Al's Garden and Home. I'm Judy Alaruso from Al's Garden and Home. And I'm Mark Biggie from Al's Garden and Home. We are down to the final match between perennials and annuals. And Mark, it has been a great competition. It has been a lot of fun, Judy. A lot of talk going back and forth, <laughs> but I gotta hand it to you. You brought forth some great perennials. It has been great. And you brought some great annuals. And you know, for a wonderful garden, you need a mix of both annuals and perennials to make it really shine. Who wins is lots of fun, but we've had a great time for it. That's right. Every plant has its place, right? Yep. Every garden should be made up of a few of both. Exactly. I'm glad we can come to that. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> So here is the winner from the perennial division. It's Spanish lavender. It has so many great attributes. It's an evergreen perennial. This plant is a workaholic in the garden. It takes full sun, the fragrant foliage and fragrant flowers. Deer don't like it, but the bees and the butterflies do like this flower. Put it in a full sun garden or in a container, and it's also drought tolerant once it's been planted. It's an amazing plant that really can take a lot of abuse and still bloom month after month from May till frost. It's a great contender, Mark. Has some great attributes, Judy. I gotta hand it to you. You brought a competitor. But here we have Heliotrope. It's known as the king of annuals, and for good reason. It's the most regal annual you can have. Look at this thing, beautiful, upright, dark green, large foliage, loves the sun, blooms all summer long. In fact, the warmer it gets, the more it blooms. The bigger these trusses get, look at these, Judy, they are spectacular. Can't pack another bloom on there. And not only that, oh man, they're fragrant. I have to admit, I can smell that from here, and it, that is just amazing. Well, the, and then the lavender, I don't smell as much. Yeah. But look at, there's a candle with lavender fragrance. There's also soaps. You can dry these flowers and enjoy them all winter long. I don't know, it's tough to beat. Yeah, we do have our own heliotrope oh. candle now, Judy. I don't know if you smelled this, but smell that. Pretty good, huh? It does. That's pretty new. That's pretty cool. Pretty new. So one thing that might push this over the edge, I don't know, I brought a little secret weapon to the finals. Mm. I don't know if you know that this is the variety of heliotrope called Fragrant Delight. So my dad, Jack Biggie, actually founded this through several different tests and some breeding back and forth. He found the most fragrant heliotrope that he could find and he named it Fragrant Delight. So that's what this particular variety is. We grow it, all the heliotrope we grow is Fragrant Delight because of that spectacular performance. It's fragrance, it's tough to beat, Judy. It is tough to beat. Man, we have the purple, Al's is known for purple, so we have those purple blooms and so do you. It's really neck and neck. It's a tough one. How are we gonna choose a winner, Judy? Well, you know, I've been at Al's a long, long time. And I've been, I've known your dad, Jack Biggie, and I know what he would say. If he was voting here, he would go to the Hebrew Trophy. So then that's it? Jack says so, <laughs> so Heliotrope is the winner. Look at that. Okay, this has been a very exciting journey. Give it up for Heliotrope. And we got to give it up for them, okay? But don't forget to visit our sponsors at Owl's Garden and Home to pick up any one of these amazing plants that we saw during this tourney. This was so much fun, guys, okay?